Hey, welcome back my Cap Toys fans. My name is Kathy and you are back in the toy barn with me. Kind of looks different, huh? A little bit unconventional here. Here's the reason why. The GoPro decided to not turn on this morning when I came into the toy barn and I believe it may need a little bit of some energy, a push in getting recharged. So we're going to go with that. And uh, usually I use my phone to talk to you guys about um, you know, who sold, who bought the item, how much it sold for, etc. So using this now as the camera rather than uh, using it as a source to talk about, you know, those other things, it's going to be a little bit unconventional today, but that's okay, right? You know, we have to kind of do things on the fly, even when things don't work out exactly the way as planned. So no worries there. But before we begin, if you haven't already, if you're brand new to us, welcome to the Madcap Toys YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. We want you to be a part of us because Mad Cat Toys family continues to keep growing and growing. Also, hit the bell for all notifications because each and every time we upload content, of course, you're going to be the first to know. And also comments, guys. We love your comments, your input. Um, you talking to us about your sales, reseller life, what you're doing, what you're selling, how things are going, how things are not going, etc. We want to hear from you. So we sold nine items over the last 24 hours. So I'm going to share them with you again. We're using this phone camera today because of uh, issues with the GoPro, but that's okay. And so it's going to be where I'm, I'm not going to be able to talk too much about them, but I'm going to try to do my best to show them. But most importantly, guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, sourcing really quick. I've noticed in the last couple weeks that things or I can't say things but items seem to be not as fruitful in the you know buying low selling high area as it has been um I went retail arbitraging by myself solo because Darren's not been feeling too well uh, over the last couple days and I was only, I drove 45 minutes away and went to three different places and came back with only one bag um, <laughs> kind of disappointed, of course, you know, you want to make sure when you're, when you're driving a little distance that you want to make sure that you've got, you know, plenty going on, that you're coming back with a lot of things, but I just wasn't seeing anything that was, uh, going to make sense for us, that was fruitful enough, that the cost was low enough to, to buy and resell online. Also, too, the majority of the places I went to already had stuff we already had in mass. So that was another thing. Um, and it just, it just wasn't, it was just a little bit disappointing. Um, in the pallet area, we've actually not been buying pallets for probably six months or more since, um, maybe last, the end of last summer. Only reason is because even the pallet places that uh, I've been researching or going to, they are not coming out with the quality products like they used to have. And seemingly they've been coming out with a lot of large, large furniture items and things of that nature that Darren and I can't sell here uh, at Madcap Toys because of being too big, shipping issues, etc. So we've been facing a lot of challenges. We're hoping that changes soon because uh, today it is 70 degrees on a Sunday, beautiful Sunday day. Um, and garage sales yard sales should be popping up very soon i would think in the next week or two so we're hoping for change we're hoping that we'll be able to source a lot better um and find quality goods to sell and uh pack things up our death pile is still uh existent um it's it's slimming down <laughs> it's slimming down a little bit but i mean we still got plenty to list so that's not a fear um, as you can see in the toy barn, we still have lots and lots of items to sell. So no fear there of, uh, you know, not having enough. Uh, it's just that we, our sourcing usually is always pretty fruitful and it just seems like lately, um, we've been coming up short a little bit. So hopefully, like I said, that's a season and things will change that we just kind of hit a brick wall currently with that. But I think we're going to get, I think it'll change a little bit and hopefully, it will. Let me know in the comments below if you've been facing the same thing or if not, if it's been fruitful for you, let me know. Let me know where you've been going and, you know, maybe we can uh, consider those options as well here locally where we are at. So just to explain to you, we have sold nine items um, since the beginning of this recording. Um, started out the month not as strong. Last month kind of ended a little down 
um, due to a lot of the eBay issues we've all been facing. <clears throat> Macari has picked up a little bit. So we have been doing some Macari sales that have been, you know, going pretty strong. Uh, Poshmark here and there spotted the last week or a little over a week, maybe two weeks, um, has been zero. So hopefully things will change there. So I'm hoping things will pick up in March as things progress. We do have a coupon that we put out called Mad Cat Madness instead of March Madness. Um, where people can save 15% off whatever they want. So there's no limit on categories. It's any category that they can choose an item or choose several items and save 15% off in the store. We had a 49% off and 50% off markdown sale last month on eBay. And it just, we made a, maybe a few sales, but not enough to really to really call it worth it. So I told Dan, I said, maybe we need to get back into doing coupons and see if that will work. And so far in the last three days, it has been pretty successful. I have seen quite a few people take advantage of that um, as well. So I'm, I'm considering thinking that coupons may be the way to go at the moment. So we're just going to swing with that. So I am going to basically, I'm trying not to get the glare of the, of the toy barn lights in your face. But uh, go around the corner here. So we're going to talk about basically what we sold on eBay and Macari. Uh, again, we're not going to go conventional. I'm just going to basically hold it up front. I'm not going to tell you who bought it or how much it was for because of my phone uh, usually tells me. And again, the GoPro ha is uh, resting right now. So we're just going to go with the flow, show you what we got and go from that point. And if you guys have any questions or anything, as you know, you can contact me, email me, uh, comment in the comment section, etc. So we're going to go with that. So let me grab. We had two things on Macari really quick. I want to share with you. I've been doing some digging and some finding. Let me make sure that I don't have the glare in your face there. There we go. <laughs> All right. So first up on Macari over this way that light is painful uh we sold a guy gardener hero click so we have at least over two boxes full of hero clicks um darren i think got a hero clicks buy from a couple people when we had our toy store in bedford um and then also i think he also found some too uh re um not retail arbitraging but um you know sourcing like at yard sales etc so um, they have added to the pile since, but this one is Guy Gardner. I really like this one. It's really, really cool. Again, not going to tell you what it sold for or uh, who it sold to because of the camera issue. So just bear with me there, but really like these. So again, we do have about two boxes of these uh, different kinds of hero clicks. And they've actually been selling pretty good. So um, not complaining there. Um and they're easy to list, of course, and they're because they're so small, they're easy to pack. So you, I don't put them in bubble millers, though. I put them in a cardboard box, make sure that I bubble wrap them and make them secure. So usually, um, at least as of this moment, I have not had any issues over the years of any damage to, to our hero clicks. Um, but uh, like I said, I don't put anything like this or small figures in bubble mailers because of um worry of damage and everything everything is always usually about bu bubble wrap there all right and then this one here the other one that we sold on makari i like this one here it is the star trek the next generation all good things series jean-luc picard retired starfleet captain so sorry <coughs> sorry to cough you're still recovering still recovering um, I like this one here where he's in his outfit. Really, really nice card. We've been selling the uh, Star Trek pretty, pretty good. Um, our pile is going down oh, over here in the toy barn on the wall over here. Um, but Darren had a really good um, Star Trek buy with a gentleman that came into our store back in 2015. And um, he got some really good deals on a collection. So we still have quite a few really good Star Trek figures left, whether it be the classic, the Star Trek Generations, the Next Generation, etc. So if you are interested in those, just check them out. But yeah, I really, really like that one over there. And um, 
again, I, I, if I see the, the ones that are, you know, uncommon at a good price, grab them, right? All right, and then on eBay, let's go with this one here. Of course, Hot Wheels always sell at Madcap Toys here. So this is the Hot Wheels HW City Ford F-150. And uh, again, we usually, if I find a good deal on um, Hot Wheels, I'll try to get them in mass. I haven't seen any really lately, but still have quite a few of them, not only on our table, but also our walls. And we even have a couple of totes full. And I don't know if we still have some in our death pile or not. I'd have to look. Um, but yeah, these are always going good and great. So, so glad when we sell those. And then this right here came from an Amazon palette buy. I'm not going to open it up and show you because it's hard to put back. But this came from uh, an Amazon palette buy. It says Re Rewas Fashion Hair. It is actually a blonde wig. And I believe it sold for under $18. It wasn't a lot. Uh, but like I said, we have a lot of palette items that we're just trying to get through. And so they really received this at a pretty good price. So thank you so much if you are watching. And then I don't know if this is the last one we sold or not. I'll try to show the camera here. This is the uh, Threshold Salad Bowl four-piece set stoneware by Studio McGee. <laughs> and again, this was another palette item, a four pack there, dishwasher and microwave safe set. I think it is the last one I'll have to check. And um, these came from a, uh, a palette buy that we bought uh, back in the summer. And then we sold, model kits sell guys, um, a B2, B24J Liberator Bomber sealed and really, really nice there. And I believe this sold for, I think, $26.99 plus shipping. So that's perfect. And then hanging on our action figure wall in the barn is our 1989 Deep Six version 2 G.I. Joe. And it shows here that it was tagged for $10.90. So I don't know if he received a deal. He may have used a 15% off coupon and then of course we always sell coins here at madcap toys and this is the 1932 washington quarter extra fine in the front and back so <laughs> so sorry guys i didn't want to cough in your face but oh, i'm still recovering but again, this is the 1932 Washington Quarter Silver, extra fine. Really, really nice. We always put these in bubble mailers. If they are less than $20, <clears throat> then of course we put them on the e in the eBay standard envelope there. So thank you for whoever, whoever bought this. Thank you so much. And lastly, this actually sold right before I come out to the toy barn. This right here and this is the transformers quick draw autobot hound this was on transformers shelf three and if you ever see these now these this particular one we've had this one for quite a long time in our a uh, collection uh, you know we we picked different ones up in different series but this one i believe was in our toy store in bedford and um so for a really good deal. So we have a lot of different things that we have planned on doing. We want to start when it does continue to get warmer to rearrange the toy barn for sure. Um, so that way we can get it skewed better, that it's more organized, and that we can find things quicker. And then we'll probably uh, eventually do that inside our uh, heated garage as well because uh, we do have a few shelves of merchandise out there along with what we have uh, inside our home uh, as far as clothing and all that and just getting it to where we can find things quicker and easier and make it smoother for ourselves. Let me know in the comments below how you organize your items. Do you custom skew them on eBay where you know exactly where to find them? How do you tag them? Do you tag your shelves? Um, do you tag your totes? Um, you know, what is it that you do? 
um, you know, to make it easier for you when it comes to finding things. I am not going to keep you guys here today. I don't want you guys to suffer <laughs> seeing me still. I was fine until I come out here and then um, I just started feeling a little weird again with the, uh, you know, with my nose and uh, coughing and everything. So still on the recovery phase, I, I assume. But um, I'm going to keep it here. And um, you guys, I hope to see you in the next video. And Dan being all better and me being all better so we can talk to you uh, longer. And um, hopefully our GoPro gets better too. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye.